Welcome to this detailed walkthrough of EAPTLS authentication. If you want to understand exactly how this protocol works under the hood, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps and key components involved in this process. EAPTLS, or Extensible Authentication Protocol Transport Layer Security, is one of the most secure methods for authenticating devices on a network. It uses X509 certificates for both the client and the server to authenticate, ensuring mutual trust before granting access. The first step in EAPTLS is establishing a secure channel, or the TLS tunnel. This begins with the client and server initiating a standard TLS handshake. The client sends a client hello message to the server, which includes the supported TLS versions, cipher suites, and a randomly generated number. This starts the negotiation. There, the server responds with a server hello message, confirming the protocol and cipher suite it will use. Then, the server sends its digital certificate, signed by a trusted certificate authority. This certificate proves the server's identity. The server requests the client's certificate, Finally, the server sends a server helidone signaling that it's ready to receive the client's input. At this point, the client steps up to verify its identity. The client responds by sending its certificate. This proves that the client has a legitimate identity, validated by a trusted CA. Both the server and client validate each other's certificates against a list of trusted CAs. If you are using a modern RADIUS service such as Easy Radius, the validation might also include checking the user in Entra ID or the device compliance in Intune. If either certificate is invalid or unsigned, the process stops here and authentication fails. Certificate validation ensures the authenticity of both parties and is essential for preventing man-in-the-middle attacks. No certificate, no access. Once validated, the client generates a pre-master secret encrypts it with the server's public key extracted from the server's certificate and sends it to the server. Only the server using its private key can decrypt this pre-master secret. Using the pre-master secret, both the client and server derive the same session keys. These keys will be used to encrypt and decrypt all communication moving forward, ensuring data privacy. This symmetric encryption uses algorithms like AES, providing secure and efficient data transfer for the rest of the session. Unlike the previous steps that relied on public-private key cryptography, symmetric encryption is faster and optimized for real-time communication. Both sides send finished messages, encrypted with the session key. These messages confirm that the handshake was successful and that both sides have the same session key. Once the handshake is done, the TLS tunnel is fully established. From this point on, all data exchanged between the client and server is encrypted using the session key. Now that the client and server trust each other and have a secure communication channel, the application data can flow securely. In the context of EAPLS, this could mean authenticating a device on an enterprise network, granting access to a VPN, or logging into a secure service. So why is EAPTLS one of the most secure authentication protocols? Three main reasons. And one. Mutual authentication. Both the client and server are required to present certificates, ensuring that neither party can be impersonated by an attacker. Two, certificate validation. Certificates are validated by trusted certificate authorities, ensuring that they are not forged or expired. Three, encrypted communication. All communication happens inside the TLS tunnel, where data is encrypted, protecting it from eavesdropping and tampering. Four, no credentials are shared. If you notice, I never mentioned that then the user sends a password or anything like that. The magic of certificate-based authentication is that with cryptography, you don't have to share your secret with the other party to authenticate yourself, meaning that the server never knows your private key information. Thanks for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. If you are looking to set up EAPTLS, watch this video, where one of our engineers sets up everything needed for certificate-based authentication in less than 25 minutes.